tapping into the growing entertainment industry. Alex Kamgisha is making e-toys for children. He believes this initiative will boost homegrown innovation and reduce youth unemployment. According to the government statistics body, Uganda's youth unemployment rate is above 65%, which is among the highest in Africa. I realize that uh, we get so many toy cars from China and other foreign countries. And I realize that we can also make the same and sell to the people as we earn living. And as this team of innovators makes toys, they are also preserving the environment. Plastics is a big problem. So we are taking plastics, combining, you know, recycling plastics, combining it with robotics, artificial intelligence, and machine learning to create solutions that are viable. So we solve a problem in terms of recycling, and we solve a problem in terms of having to design those things locally. Alex has designed prototypes of a farm rover, lighting equipment, excavators, and a variety of children's toys. These robotic toys can be remotely controlled by a mobile phone handset of voice recognition. Alex Kamgisha now wants to use the same technology to build machinery for both domestic and industrial use. Like many other innovators in Uganda, this one also faces the challenge of limited funding. We don't have money to invest into our projects now. If we had money, we could be even far from here. So that's, that's what we need to, to increase the, the, the scale of our industry. And as Alex dives deep into the digital world, he's hopeful that more young people will adopt this technology so that they also become job creators. Hilara Yesiga, CGTN, Kampala.